Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about insomnia. Now we have all experienced lack of sleep at some time or other in our lives. But insomnia is a very special definition. That is an inability to fall asleep or an inability to maintain sleep. Now what do I mean by that? When you're in bed, and it takes you more than 30 minutes to fall asleep, that is considered that you have insomnia. And after you have fallen asleep, and you get up in the night, and you're not able to fall, go back to sleep, again, that is considered that you're having insomnia. So you may have one or the other or both. You may have difficulty falling asleep, or difficulty maintaining sleep, or you may have both. And if this goes on for three times a week for about three months, then it's considered that you have chronic insomnia. Now, how much should you be sleeping anyway? We need about seven hours of sleep a night. If you sleep too little, it's not good. If you sleep about four or five hours, it's not good. If you sleep too much, it's not good also. You shouldn't be sleeping 10 or 12 hours a day either. So the optimal amount is about seven hours. Now, what happens when you don't get enough sleep? And this, I'm talking about chronically not getting enough sleep. So your quality of life will definitely go down. Your mood goes down, your memory, you may have headache, you may have dizziness, you may find it difficult to concentrate, you may be absent from work, absent from school, and your performance in general will go down. In addition, there are long-term health implications when you can't sleep. Your chances of obesity increases. So do your chances of getting diabetes, blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and even Alzheimer's disease. All these chances of getting all these diseases actually increase when you don't sleep well. Now, what does sleep do? Now, when we sleep, toxins are removed from the brain. That's why it's so important to sleep that seven hours. Your brain can only rest when you sleep. It doesn't rest any other time. When you sleep, there are certain toxins that are removed from the brain from, via the glymphatics. Now, we have lymphatics in our body which remove toxins from our body. We have glymphatics in the brain, which remove toxins from the brain. Now, these toxins are actually protein, such as amyloid, beta and tau. And if these were to accumulate in the brain, one may get Alzheimer's disease. But this is a very slow growing process. So definitely, if you don't sleep enough, less toxins are removed. Hence, greater the chance of developing Alzheimer's disease when you are older. So it's very important to get your seven hours of sleep. Although you may feel that you can function with four or five hours of sleep, but the brain needs time to remove all these toxins. The other very important function that sleeping does is it consolidates your memory. Now during sleep, brain cells actually communicate with each other. So there is transferring of information from cells involved in short-term memory to cells involved in long-term memory. During the day, we form memories through our vision, our hearing, our thought process, our emotions, and they are all stored in a place called hippocampus. At night, all these memories are transferred to another region of the brain called the neocortex, hence making the memories more stable and easier to retrieve later on. This process is called memory consolidation and it takes place when you sleep. Hence, if you don't sleep well, whatever you read or study during the day becomes harder to recall. Now, what is the treatment of insomnia? Now, contrary to popular belief, or what you may see or hear in the media. Drug treatment 
is not the mainstay in the treatment of insomnia. In fact, it is very short term. The mainstay of treatment of insomnia, which I recommend to all my patients, is cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. Now, CBT will allow you to learn new techniques as well as modify your old behaviors so that you have a lifelong guide as to how to manage your sleep. The other way that sleep can be treated or rather lack of sleep can be treated is by certain supplements such as magnesium. The third way sleep can be treated is with medication but these medications can be habit forming. Hence, we always recommend a very short duration if you need to go on medication. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.